It's come down on level 20 for stop. But I'll stop only on way 04, Kefi 1003, request PLP. Clear stop on way 04, Kefi 1003, a flight of 9 hawks, 1 PLP per hawk, red hours. Red hours, red hours. Hello, my name is uh, Peter Holman, the team leader of the Virtual Red Arrows, and I fly the number one jet in our display. I will guide you through the display routine that uh, we performed at the Virtual Festival of Aerobatic Teams in December of uh, 2011. The display phone is based on the 2008 Red Arrows display routine and uh, it is probably the closest representation of a Red Arrows display flown in the virtual skies to date. For now we are taxiing out from the ramp towards the runway. You'll hear me receiving the necessary clearance from the air traffic controller whilst also running through our before takeoff uh, checklist making sure that uh, all the jets are functioning properly before we take it to the sky. You will see during our movie that we have some different and uh, interesting perspectives that both you and I don't normally get to see. We have added uh, cameras to our jets in the cockpit and on the fuselage. As we are uh, entering the runway, we will uh, set up in our grouped uh, takeoff formations. Getting ready for the takeoff now. That's rolling now. We uh, take off in three groups. Inid at the front with uh, me as the leader, and four and five behind with uh, Jippo all the way in the back. Just passing 120 knots now. Approaching the liftoff speed of uh, 150 knots. In it, pulling up. You see 4 and 5 pulling up a little bit earlier than uh, Enid there and are now getting ready to uh, rejoin Enid formation. And Jippo appearing at the right side of the screen there, doing a small right correction in order to avoid Enid's uh, slipstream for uh, the rejoin. Coming left. Down. We'll continue out here and come into a left turn where uh, Jippo will rejoin us. Holding right. Down. Approaching about 250 knots now. And there's Jippo rejoining us in the turn. Speeding up again now. About 280 knots when Jippo rejoins. Jippo and smoke off done. Rolling out now. And up to 320 knots now as we roll out. 
We'll be flying a short circuit here. Coming. Right. To make sure everything is in order. And uh, we'll also decide here which uh, display will fly. We have uh, three different uh, displays. A flat, rolling and uh, full display depending on the power base. This time fortunately the weather is good enough to perform the high show. 6 and 7 moving into uh, big battle formation there. You can see the tail of uh, 2 and 3 moving back there. Rolling. Out. Quite a large formation with uh, everyone on the wing. As we come in for the first maneuver, the big battle to Diamond Loop. Smoke on here as we're getting ready for uh, the loop. About 350 knots on the pull up, Shut up down. to 3.5 G's. Six, seven, go. And there is 6 and 7 uh, falling back into uh, short diamond formation, with uh, 8 and 9 uh, following behind. And coming up over the top here, 150 knots. Coming right now. And turning information to the right to set up for our next maneuver. Holding Speeding up right to 350 now. knots again. Let's get out. Three G's on the pullout here. Smoke off. Go. Uh, coming in for the right turn here, where we'll uh, change from short diamond to shuttle formation. You can see uh, 2 and 3 moving back there, followed by 4 and 5 on the outer wing. Shuttle formation, of course, named after the NASA Space Shuttle. Let's smoke on. And smoke comes on here as we come in for the shuttle roll. 350 knots. Ah, up. Pulling up now, 2 G's. And, oh. and rolling at 20 degree nose up. Speed coming down to about 280 knots on the top. Ports coming out there as we uh, exit the shuttle roll. Changing into diamond formation now. As we come in to perform the diamond chicane. You might notice we uh, flew the short diamond before. The difference between the short diamond and diamonds is uh, the spacings are slightly uh, longer in the diamond formation. Left. Now. And turning the formation uh, to the left on the way down to pass uh, show center. It's about uh, 3G pull out here. Coming in for the diamond band here. As we exit 
exit wheel set up for the Phoenix uh, formation change. Six, seven, eight, and nine calling there, signalizing they're moving into the Phoenix formation. Quite a large formation with uh, four, five, eight, and nine flying uh, line abreast with uh, six and seven behind. Smoke off, go. Outer wingers here. Looking 90 degree over their shoulder to keep their formation references. Coming right now. And reversing uh, to the right now for the Phoenix reversal. Changing back to 9 arrow formation now. Coming in for the 9 arrow roll. Rolling. Out. Now. 8 and 9 have the most difficult task in this formation. Flying third wing, um, thereby being uh, an aircraft with the longest distance to the leader. Six and seven following in line of stern position here. Holding the back now. Back to three fifty knots as we exit the uh, nine hour row. And moving back to flanker there, two and three with uh, four and five flying line abreast. Flanker named after the Sukhoi Su-27 flanker. Four and five on the edges of the screen there, following in line abreast with uh, two and three. Watch out as they uh, do the rollbacks to uh, Eagle for the flanker to Eagle uh, loop. And there's four and five doing the rollback. And we're joining into Eagle. Pulling up now 350 knots. Three and a half G's uh, on the most here. And rolling the formation to the right on the way up. Setting up to fly parallel to the runway heading here. One fifty on the top here. Yeah. As we come down, four and five having a particularly uh, difficult job here, following in the eagle formation. They take their main reference points of the leader as to the other pilots. This is to ensure the whole formation moves as one. Lancaster, go, go, 
5. Changing to Lancaster formation now. C4 and 5 with the blue and the red smoke. Coming up to fly line abreast with the 2 and 3 again. The Lancaster formation, of course, uh, named after the Avril Lancaster. Pulling up now, 350 uh, knots. Eight to nine, following in line abreast with uh, seven here. Holding for now. And smoke comes off as we set up for our next formation change. Right. Now. Right. Now. Right. Two and three falling back to fly wing of uh, seven in this formation. Of course with uh, four, five, eight and nine uh, following on the wing. Quite a difficult formation to fly for uh, the wingers, as they're very uh, far away from the leader. And pulling, up. pulling up now for the swan to kite loop. As you can hear, uh, the go call given by uh, three there, as we uh, transition into uh, kite formation. Coming over the top, 150 knots. And there's the kite pairing with uh, me flying the tail of the kite there. And speeding up again to 350 knots on the bottom. Coming left, down. Turning information to the left on the way down here. About 4G pull out here. Rolling out. And rolling out now as we uh, finishing off the first part of our show. Flying a short route now as we set up for uh, part two. Short diamond. Down. Down. Changing back into Phoenix formation now for the palm tree and synchro split. Rolling out now. Marking the end of part one and the start of part two of our display. Let's swap on now. Part two will be splitting up into two groups, Enid and Jippo, as well as uh, the synchro pair. For the more dynamic part of our display, uh, uh. the main group uh, pulling up for the palm tree split now. The synchro pair continuing towards the runway for the synchro split, and from the cockpit camera of uh, Red Six now, the synchro pair doing about uh, 380 knots, pulling about six Gs in the split. And Synchro finishing the Synchro split here. 
They will now fly a short route before they come in for the Chippo Pass. 45 degree pitches. Seven. Back to the main group now for the palm tree split. Each aircraft will uh, pull away from the formation one by one, creating a palm tree in the sky. On to Jippo now as they begin their uh, setup for the Jippo Pass. Eight and nine will rejoin the Synchro pair, six and seven, as they fly in uh, opposing go. directions alongside the runway. Go, go. And from the back seat of Red Eight here, we uh, watch as he rejoins uh, Red Six on the way down, setting up for their uh, first maneuver, the Jippo Pass. Flying towards the airfield now, with the 7 and 9 on the opposite side. Both sides approaching at about 350 knots. Threshold, threshold. Making a total closure of over uh, 700 knots. Go, go. And there's the pass. Interesting ground perspective. Six, seven, eight, and nine as uh, they uh, perform the passing rolls there. Six and seven performing uh, four point rolls with uh, eight and nine performing barrel rolls. Back in red six cockpits as the synchro pair set up for their uh, next maneuver, the cyclone. They will pass each other uh, twice in this maneuver, starting with a 5G turn for the first pass. And there's the first pass at uh, 100 feet as they continue around, increasing uh, the pull to about 6Gs for uh, leveling out for the second pass. Back in my cockpit, following uh, Init as we set up for the goose. Init flying with slow speed towards uh, ground center as uh, Red 8 coming in uh, from the left hand side of the screen here, flying towards Init as he prepares to pierce their uh, smoke. Red 8 has a speed of about uh, 400 knots here. Init approaching with around 250 knots, and there he goes. And we're joining back in uh, init formation as we exit in a uh, right turn. Going back up again now, up to 300 knots as we uh, roll out. Rolling out now. And our engine's running at quite a high uh, RPM on the climb. Finishing with a steep climb up to a 40 degree nose up before uh, leveling out. There's Jupiter Lead uh, Red 6 calling uh, smoke off for units as we exit the uh, steep climb. We're now following the belly cam of uh, six here as the synchro pair uh, pull up for uh, their next maneuver, the heart. My heart. Red six calling white heart there as he declares to red seven that they will be using uh, white smoke for the heart. No. Smoke. The synchro pair applying uh, full power now. 
in order to carry the aeroplane, so the top, which is about four and a half thousand feet above the crowd. And up in the right corner we can see uh, Cupid, uh, Red 9, piercing uh, the heart. Synchro continuing for yet another uh, maneuver. Setting up for the opposing uh, barrel rolls. Approaching from the opposite ends of the runway. Threshold. Threshold. Go, go. Snapping the airplane 90 degrees to the right, followed by a 3G pole in order to gain the momentum needed for the left barrel roll. And a BP at the end, signalizing to me that uh, Synchro has just completed their uh, maneuver. And back on the belly of uh, my aeroplane, looking uh, backwards as uh, in it with 8 and 9 pull up for the vertical break. You may have noticed uh, that uh, 9 is missing from the formation. That's because uh, Red 9 must rejoin uh, late, having performed as uh, Cupid's uh, arrow in the heart and he just makes it in time for the smoke hole as we prepare for the vertical break and break break go as we split up with uh, 30 degrees uh, separation And back for another uh, synchro mirror now. Synchro, go on! Setting up for the carousel. Threshold, threshold. Synchro pair will uh, pass each other three times in this uh, maneuver. Flying about 380 knots. <coughs> and there's the first pass, only 30 feet apart. It's the job of uh, Red 7 to make sure he flies uh, under Red 6 with uh, each pass. They go into a 60 degree banked climb as they continue to uh, turn in for the second pass with a maximum pull of uh, about 60. This maneuver is probably the most uh, difficult synchro maneuver of uh, this year's display. And requires complete trust between the two synchro pilots to uh, successfully uh, perform their daredevil maneuvers. And a left turn by six, just letting me know with a beep that uh, synchro pair are leaving the display line. And back to Init for uh, yet another uh, Init maneuver. Coming in now for the Python. 4 and 5 moving forward to fly uh, line abreast on uh, 2 and 3. We'll be pulling up here for uh, 2 barrel rolls. This maneuver particularly hard for uh, 4 and 5, working hardest uh, all the way out in the line abreast uh, positions there. They'll have to look uh, 90 degree over their shoulder to uh, stay with the formation. Holding the bank as we uh, pass the crowd. It's a pull out of about 3 G's, setting up for the second barrel roll. And, 
then the second roll will be uh, slightly longer than the first as we start this uh, roll in the right bank coming over the top of the second roll about uh, 250 knots on the top And once again, uh, Red 6 calls uh, smog off as we exit the display line. Entering from the right now are the synchro pair, rejoined by 8 and 9, forming uh, Jippo, setting up for one of their uh, more well known uh, Jippo maneuvers. 6, rolling. And 8 and 9 rolling in opposite directions around the smoke of uh, 6 and 7. They will do a total of uh, 4 rolls each. And there's the final roll. This time uh, I give the smoke of call for uh, Jippo as uh, Enid comes in from the left for the helix. There's the beep. And two, three, four, five. Drop down into uh, Linus turn. Coming left now. Midway through we'll change into the tango formation. And a view of the transition from uh, my belly camera. About 280 knots on the top. And speeding up to 350 coming down for the helix pass. And rolling out now as we finish the helix. Setting up for the mirror roll. Six will uh, roll inverted. And then immediately uh, pulling up for an inverted barrel roll. Quite a demanding task for oh. 6 here, flying uh, inverted with a negative 2.5G. And roll. Red 7 uh, comes forward with the very difficult task of having to look uh, directly up uh, to keep sight of his uh, formation reference on 6, all the way around to fly perfectly mirrored underneath him. Out. 
there's 8 and 9 uh, rolling back and 6 rolling level marking the end of uh, the mirror roll. And there's the roll from the crowd perspective exiting in uh, right turn as they set up for their next and final maneuver of the display as uh, Chippo. Before then we'll see a very uh, traditional Red Arrows maneuver. In it returning for the rollbacks. Two and three. Roll, There's uh, two and three pulling up and uh, rolling outwards of the formation. Four and five will quickly move in and fill the gap waiting uh, for two and three to complete their uh, rejoin of the outer wing and begin their uh, rollbacks. We perform the rollbacks by pulling and rolling as hard as possible to get the momentum going. We also keep the air brakes out to maintain a slow speed of around 250 knots. Just enough time to perform a total of two rollbacks per pilot as we fly past the crowd. And coming in for the final roll now. And smoke off go, just as we finish the rollbacks. And we're back with uh, Chippo for their final maneuver. <whistles> Setting up now for the Chippo break. Probably uh, the most difficult Jippo maneuver. Eight and nine. Go, go. Starting out with the eight and nine barrel rolling around uh, formation. Synchro roll. Go. And then Synchro uh, doing their aileron rolls. Let's watch that from the ground perspective. That's uh, eight and nine rolling. And 6 and 7 with their aileron rolls. And looking backwards from the cockpit of 6. Go. And there's the cross. Go, go. Completing the illusion that all the airplanes have converged in the middle. Synchro exiting from the Chippo break now. Coming in for their final synchro maneuver, the double rolls. Following in in uh, Red 7's cockpit here. Threshold. And from the back seat of uh, seven, we follow the rolls. There's the first roll, and they'll meet in the middle. And then pull up for the second roll. Exiting in uh, left turn here, red 7. And uh, back to my aeroplane, we follow the final maneuver of the 2011 display. 8 to 9 uh, rejoining just in time from the Chippo break. Coming in for the Vixen break.
Coming around now uh, to set up for our uh, landing break. You will see all the aircraft rejoining in uh, nine arrow formation. Clear, clear to land runway 04, so this one, 05, so they just one, two knots. Clear to land runway 04, right out. Diamond, eight, nine. You can see eight to nine moving into uh, Diamond as we set up for the landing break. The landing break for today is done through the spaghetti split. We'll pull up in diamond and on the way down we'll split up in uh, different directions and set up for our uh, individual landings. And up we go, doing about 350 knots and 3.5 and G's at most. And back to the crowd perspective. And coming over the top, you'll see uh, one, two, three, ah. and six putting smoke on last. All aircraft splitting with a 40 degree uh, separation. Setting up to uh, land now. We'll be landing in an odd sequence. I'm first to land with the uh, red 6 and 7 behind. Followed by uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8 and 9. So not in uh, numerical order as you might expect. But that's due to the way we uh, were split up in the spaghetti split. On final approach now we can see the air brake coming in. Due to the position of the air brake on the Hawk. Uh, we don't land the aeroplane with the uh, air brakes out. As doing so runs the risk of uh, it contacting the runway. 150 knots on uh, the final leg, reducing speed to about 130 knots for the touchdown. Pitching up to about 8 degrees uh, nose up for the flare and the jet settles quite nicely onto the runway. And next to land is uh, Red 6. You can see he's uh, landing on the right side of the runway. We land on the sides of the runway for uh, safety reasons. So that if a pilot has a problem, then uh, he or she has the middle of the runway available to them in an emergency. Moving to the center of the runway now, once uh, 9 calls breaks OK indicating to me and the rest of the team that we are uh, safe to do so. Red Arrow's taxi for the squadron report shutting down on the apron. We'll go, Lance. Again we flew this display at the virtual festival of aerobatic teams in December of uh, 2011. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video demonstrating our uh, display in a little more detail than uh, you normally see.
Red Barrels shut down. Red Barrels roger. We hope you have enjoyed our performance as much as we have enjoyed flying it for you. On behalf of the entire Virtual Red Arrows organization, we would like to thank you all for your continued enthusiasm towards our display. Keep an eye out for our future display in 2012 and onwards.